How's it gaming? I'm Phil in the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. We are done all four elemental dungeons, which means we can head on to the final dungeon. But first, let's head up here, actually over here, and we'll waste a little bit of money. We have nearly $700,000 thanks to the friggin' Flying Fortress. It's crazy. Get the Cat Claws for Dev. Not that we really need it, but I mean, might as well, right? Like, seven attack jump. Plus uh, 20 extra accuracy. It's not horrible. And time to finish our magic. Uh, we want a level 8 stuff. Where's the level 8 stuff in this place? Up here, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. All right, so for white magic, we actually have some pretty good stuff. We have holy, which is, I believe it's not elemental in this game. It's not considered actual, like, holy that you, you can use against regular enemies. It's not like a dia kind of thing. Uh, there's Null All, which is pretty cool. Uh, it reduces damage from spells by half, but you can only use it on one character at a time. So, is that better, or would you rather just uh, go and do Null Fire, Null Lightning? You know, be specific uh, with, with what you're defending against, because that way you can get the whole party. Probably that. Dispel is negates one foe's magical defenses. I've been told it's good. I don't really know who to use it against, really, to be honest, because I didn't... Realize people had magical defenses in this game, but we'll get it anyways. And we want one extra slot for the final uh, level 8 magic spell, which is in Lufinia. And for black magic, oh boy, for level 8, we get stop, warp, and kill. We don't want any of those, they suck. Let's go! <laughs> stop stops enemies, which is fine. Um, and it wouldn't be the worst thing to get. I mean, you know what? Let's get it. We have the money. Uh, but warp and kill, it's like... Warp is banishes a foe to another dimension and kill is instantly kills a foe. There are so many of them. We have the magic anyways. That way we can see the spells to the magic. I mean the um the gold. Kill I always like to think is, is um power word kill from Dungeons of Dragons. The way it's just literally just called kill. In uh the original NES game, it was called XXXX. Why? I don't know. They weren't allowed to use the word kill? And they were, like, making fun of Nintendo's weird thing where, like, you can't say kill. We didn't heal up since the Flying Fortress. I'm very low on HP. Oh, my gosh. Dangerous. Phil's living so dangerously. Well, we got levels up. Let's quickly heal up with a, a nice Hilaga. There we go. So, yeah, we, like I said, we won't use kill or, or stop. But, I mean, I know in the bonus dungeons, bosses are a little bit more... Modern feeling, if that makes any sense. Uh, like, they're not just like, they hit you with a normal attack, and you just attack, 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 like in this game, because the original Final Fantasy didn't have a whole lot of strategy. Um, so maybe it's good for them. I don't know. We'll find out. Like I said, we have the money. We still have a, such a stupid amount of money, and we won't need that money for pretty much anything. I, I say that, actually, but the caravan that we have uh, bought the ferry from actually has... Um, like late game kind of stuff. So we might use that type of thing for the optional bonus dungeons because, you know, why not, right? We gotta use our money for something. And in the original uh, portion of the game, that stuff's not necessary. It, it upsets the balance. You know what I mean? It's too easy to get ridiculous stats if that's what you're gonna be doing. Anyways, let us head to the secret spell shop here. And we will get... Full life, yes, please. Absolutely. And Flare, the ultimate spell. It's non elemental, which is fantastic. Basically, what Warmech used against us, it was called Nuke. And I think it actually is Flare, uh, but Flare was called Nuke in the original NES version of the game. Uh, I don't know why they didn't want to call it Flare. F L A R. There you go, Flower. It fits in the weird four character limitations that the NES had for Final Fantasy, so. They could have called that, but no, they called it Nuke, which I think is really funny. Because that, that, that's, um, to me, that's a much more graphic thing than Flair, I guess. I don't know. Getting those levels, getting those levels. We're level, uh, we're above level 40, so now we're pretty comfortable with the bonus dungeons. We could easily do the, the first one, easily. We could probably do the fire one, too. I am ambushed, oh no. Yeah, we could probably do the second one as well, um... But obviously we're going to be doing the actual final dungeon before doing anything bonus-wise. Because uh, why not, right? Let us defend, defend, and let's, let's see who can get their, uh, their spell off first. Either Holy or Flare. See what happens. Oh, Holy was first. This is neat, though. Look at this. Oh, it looks so good. 12 damage. 
Eh, almost 300. Which, to be fair, is not very strong, but that's not Zara's strong point, is, is attack damage, right? Like, it's, it's not really what she does. She's all about healing, so... Once we get um some undead, we, we, we definitely want to see Diaja. We still haven't seen it. So, head back to the safety of our airship. My goodness. You know what? Let's actually, this is a good opportunity for Flare, I believe, now. Check it out. Soak it in. Oh, yes. Kablamo. Yeah. Four, a little shy, shy of 450. For non-elemental damage, it's pretty good. So no one can be weak against it, technically. Anyways, let's head around the world. And we'll heal up. I can, um, no, we'll heal up in a second. Right now, I want to go to the, what is it, Mount Duergar, which is where the dwarves are. The dwarves are so, like, unimportant in this game. They don't feel like you do a lot with them compared to the elves. Oh, no, that's Melmund. Right here, there we go. Because we got that adamantite in the Flying Fortress, and we want to use it. Smithy the Smith, I think that's what your name was. Say hello, here you go. Is this adamantite? All right, I'll use this to make ye the finest sword you'll ever wield. And yes, the tradition of a dwarf using adamantite to make the ultimate weapon in the game, the Excalibur, is actually something that pops up in every... In, 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 like a Final Fantasy every so often, basically. Done! Uh, in all my years, I've never crafted a finer sword. Go on, take her, she's yours. And because this is Final Fantasy 1 and you can choose the uh, formation of your party, you must be thinking, well, the Excalibur is the ultimate weapon. You had to do all that to get it. It, it must be equipable by any character in the game, because, like, you might not have a soldier. Or, why do I keep calling him a soldier? Uh, you might not have a warrior in your party. And uh, no, you are wrong. No one could equip it except for uh, Solomon. Solomon's the only one who can. But look at that. 49 to 62 attack. 205 to 210 accuracy. Oh my gosh. He's a beast now. And now let's go to the final dungeon. Right here. And actually, I'm going to go heal up right quick at Cornelia. And I'll meet you right back here. All right, let's head on in to the Chaos Shrine. And this little cinematic you're seeing, this is PSP exclusive. This is not... Uh, something you should be following at this point. A lot of people, if they've ever played, if they've never played Final Fantasy 1, they're probably thinking, that's gonna be the last boss, right? Or something, this, this character's so important to the story. No, that's not, that's the last optional dungeon. You don't want to follow that character. So don't worry about them. It's weird how they, I mean, it's cool that they put it in there, but it, if it's your first time playing FF, that really makes it feel like you should go up there. But no, speaking of the story of Final Fantasy 1 though, uh, you might be thinking, wow, I've always thought that Final Fantasy games had like really convoluted, crazy stories, but this one's actually pretty simple. And no, it's not. Let's let the convolution begin. Let's talk to these bats, because they can talk now. We are sky people. We came to this shrine in our attempt to locate the source of the world's ruin. That was 400 years ago. Oh my gosh, what? The curse of the fiends changed us into this form and prevented us from speaking. The light of the crystals has enabled us to speak again. Wow. The light, the light of the four we've been seeking all this time. That light will open the time portal. The portal will transport you 2,000 years into the past to the beginning of the time loop. Shine the light of the four crystals and the black crystal in the center of the chamber. Doing so will open a time portal to this shrine as it existed 2,000 years ago. The power the four fiends were absorbing from the crystals was being fed into the past by the black crystal. The one distorting the beautiful light of the crystals is the one we've been looking for all along. The true root of all evil lies just ahead. So yes, this game has time travel for some reason, and the story goes really silly here, but it doesn't matter. It's it's just for the last little bit. <laughs> here we go. You focus the light of the four shining crystals, fire, earth, water, and wind, on the black crystal. The flow of time surges and space begins to warp. Just one step forward, and you will travel back 2,000 years in time. Sure. It does make for a pretty neat last dungeon, though. Pretty cool. And here we go. And it's a fairly lengthy last dungeon. Oh my gosh, that music. So good. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's make our way here. You can leave at any point. You can use warp and exit two to leave, even though you've just time traveled. So don't worry about that. Let's head to the right, I believe. 
Uh, it can be a big dungeon if you don't know where you're going, because a lot of, like, little dead ends. Oh, we need to leave this area, I think. Oh no, white dragons. You will find a lot, a lot of older enemies we've fought before in this area, and, uh, it's, it's dangerous, man. But we are, look at this, 606, 16 HP of damage from Sullivan, and we're not even doing eight attacks. That's really, really good. But any extra level is definitely good. Here we go. Head all the way down, I think, here. Purple worms. Gross. 490 from Kira. That is amazing. And Ninja is really, like, that's really, really good. Not as um as much HP as I would have liked, because, like, Zera has more HP than Kira does. So that's kind of a shame, but... Oof. Um, yeah, well, you know what? We have a ridiculous amount of items, so we can just straight up use a lot of magic for this stuff. Don't worry about your healing, don't worry about your MP. If you're playing this version, just stock up on ethers. Each ether is 50 MP of healing. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, that's only one cast of flare, but for stuff like Farag and whatnot, like, it's not the worst thing to just use that to take down eight enemies in one go. Why not? Ooh, an ice shield. I do not need that. Get away from me, Sam. I am. Uh, oh, damn. Where do we go now? Oh, yes. Into the center of the room, I believe. Ooh, dark wizard and dark fighter. Yeah, we'll fight a lot of enemies we've seen before, and sometimes they can still be very dangerous if they can get a really good shot on us. We got preemptive attack here, so it's really not that big a deal. But, you know what I mean? Like, dark wizards can still use a lot of... Uh, instant kill stuff, which is still very dangerous for some parties. We got a red curtain. That is definitely a a newer Final Fantasy type item. What does that do? Cast Null Blaze. Okay. You get a Lunar Curtain, I think it's called. They can uh, cast in Zero. Uh, so you don't even need G's. Okay. You don't even need um... Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, you don't even need a, a white mage to cast some of the stuff. And that's probably why they added those types of things to the modern version of this game. Is like, what if you just don't have a mage on you? It's not fun. So, you know, they give you items that can cast those spells. Which I think is, is not, uh, not, not, maybe not necessary, but I think it's a good idea. Holy! Holy moly, you're all dead. Maybe, hopefully. I don't know if these guys are weak to any, any magic. Just magic in general. Good enough for me. Very good. Wow, so much money, too. Nope, go around, Phil. Remember to heal, too. We don't want to not heal. Let's just use uh, Solomon's uh, white magic. Not that we really need a lot of healing. And uh, we definitely don't need Solomon to hold on to his MP, so get on in here. And mini boss! It's the Death Eye. It's like the Evil Eye, but even more dangerous. Guess what? It's dead now! Oh, no, almost dead. Now it's dead. Yeah. I'm still going to do this thing on the side because it's technically a boss. The way I say a mini boss is like, is this a trigger, uh, like a spiked tile that is necessary to pro progress the game that features a unique enemy? It does? Okay, then let's put it as a mini boss. One experience, one gill, whoopee. Remember at the beginning of the game I told you to talk to Princess Sarah because you need the loot? This is why. Every uh, sprite has... Every, every class has the sprite, which is really neat. I only ever see the knight, though, because... I always play with a knight in my party. In the Pixel Remaster, you can actually switch over the um, who's in the front of your party. I don't think you can do that in this version. No, you can't. I mean, you, you can if you go in your... I never really showed you this, but you can change your formation. I just don't want to do that. My formation is fine like this. But in the Pixel Remaster, you can actually just switch who is, like, the face of the group. Who... Oh, my gosh. Who is the character that is, is being shown off. And I think that's really neat that uh, you can do that. It's time to get enough to kill these guys. It's definitely weaker than Blazaga, but it's it's a lot. Ooh, there we go, yeah. It's um, it's a little bit more cost effective. I think there's only like seven chests in this in this area, so we still want to get them. Elixir's really good, and so is a uh, dry ether. All right, where are we now? Where are we now? Top right, I think now. Hope I know where I'm going. Still some easy enemies. Uh, we got a lot of ice enemies around here, it seems, for some reason. And, jeez, dragon zombies. Remember when these guys were friggin', uh, like, bosses? Let's use Diaja. We still haven't seen it. This won't kill them, I don't think, but look at that. Just neat. 
Nice. All oh, but one. That was really good. Good job, Zara. Did zero damage, so that was a, that was a good uh, little round. Oh wow, she took. So don't worry, I'm gonna finish what I started. I'll take care of this. Very very cool. Let's get those levels, man. Oh damn. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be doing fine for levels. My goodness. The... Ooh, a Kim Chimera and a Rios. Well, it's dead. 800 for a base attack. Holy crap. Oh, I'm not in the right place. Oh, crap. We're looking around, then. Not that it matters. There are... We just go to all the different, um... Uh, corners, and we'll be fine. Ooh, there we go. Not a lot of, uh... Fights there. Thank goodness. This one's easy. We just go all the way to the left. We're almost to the part of the dungeon that kind of matters. Ooh, jeez. Um, and by matters, I don't mean, like, these don't matter, it's just, we, these are just kind of generic little areas, while, um, I don't know, oh, I should use fire enough, Firaga. Uh, we start getting to the elemental floors, and we start getting into more dangerous territory, basically. Waste of a Firaga, absolute waste of a Firaga. Oh, well, not that it matters. Bleh. Poor white dragon. Stairs? Okay, good. Just making sure we're going the right way. Okay. And, yes, okay. Now we're on the bottom left. Ignore these. If you had gone to, the, I think, the, the top left uh, on the first floor that we, when we came into this area, you'd go here and it's a, a dead end. We're going to go all the way around it instead. And we're now fighting some earth enemies, and that'll give you a clue as to what we're kind of doing in the shrine, or not shrine, last dungeon. Now everything always looks the same, which I think is a huge problem. Like, there's an earth floor, a fire floor, uh, a water floor, and a wind floor, and it would be cool if, like, they look different. I, I guess it does have the, um, the smoke there, you probably have noticed. Kind of like we're underground, and I, I, maybe when we get to the, uh, fire one, we'll see, like, some flame effects. Oh, okay, good. Come on, no, just, just hurry and frog, man. Oof, come on. Oh, not that it really matters, but... Ah. Damn, 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 damn. Holy, they're going all out. Really defending the final area, aren't you, Earth Medusas? My god. Well, we definitely have enough items to... to cure you. Easily, thankfully. All the way to the right. Because, like, right now, the dungeon's kind of sort of boring. It's a lot of the same sort of uh, uh, layout. Like, these kind of big areas with these four corners. Um, but that will change, thankfully, starting the next floor. Wow, 144 for a regular attack from Dev? That's really good. Like, really good. Get down... Hmm. Let's see if fire can do it. Their their unarmed attacks just pat 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 pat. This sounds funny. They look like a like a really um kind of rough massage <laughs> that it is punching. One of the things I love about playing RPGs with you guys is that battles is the perfect time to take a swig from my water bottle. Keep myself hydrated. Doing those crazy action games a little, a little harder to do that. All right, once we get here, whew, we'll save just in case. Save, yeah, level back my level 30 back on Onrak. And let's get a visit from our old friend, the Lich. And yeah, you fight all of them again. Uh, they're obviously harder, but they're not super difficult. So we're just going to. Uh, let's use Diaja, and we'll use Fire Rock, because it's probably stronger than Flare at this point. But, I mean, we're still gonna do a decent amount. 102, 264. They obviously have, yeah, they're, they're much more powerful. They have Flare, jeez. I just forgot about that. Oh my gosh! Probably not gonna kill him this round, too, so that was probably really dangerous. Oof, that didn't do as much as I would like, but that would have done about the same as much, uh, as much as Holy, but less MP. Hmm, damn. Hmm. 
crap. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with uh, just Kira. We're gonna buff Solomon in a second, anyways. We'll play a little bit smarter for the next uh, fiends, because again, we fight them all. So. That should be good. No, nope, almost though. Don't want to use up too much MP either. There we go. That's a much better strike. 758. Yeah. Once he once he goes off with that flare at the beginning, he becomes a big baby. 994 HP damage. Oof. Yeah, that Excalibur man. It does just wonders. And, yeah, 500 experience. Nothing. That's basically nothing. All right. Fire dungeon. Are you okay? Curious you are. Okay. We're still doing all right. We're still doing all right. Um, we go up, around. Damn. Oh, no, oh, lava worms. So, the good thing is that a lot of these floors aren't super hard just because you're fighting things we fought before. Mind you, in the original game, um, even older enemies could mess you up pretty badly, so... Here? It's the other side. If you wanted to leave, uh, you could just head on kind of like a mirrored version of what we just did, uh, where the staircase is, but we actually want to keep going down because there are a couple of, uh, of pieces of equipment that we, of course, want. We don't really need them. I think a pro cape is the only other thing in this floor. Um, but there is one thing in this dungeon near the very end that we really, really, really want. Oh, damn. Yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy right now, thankfully. We'll pretty much finish this, um, this floor, and then we'll call it a day. And next episode will be the, uh, final episode of the regular game, basically. Ooh, there we go. Protect Cloak, there we go, perfect. And you had one, and now you're gonna have one. Perfect, there we go. Definitely good. And then down here as well. Not even sure. Woo! Yes, getting those levels. Fantastic. Perfect for post-game. I don't even know if there's anything in here. Oh, there is. A Mega Elixir. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. For bonuses, bosses, those are gonna be really good for us. We definitely, definitely want them. Now we'll just step to the other side, and we'll get a couple more things. And then we'll fight Merolith again. Merolith, I don't think, can be, um... held or paralyzed like she could in the original version. Tiamat certainly cannot be killed in one hit with Break. So... By the way, I never mentioned this with the Tiamat fight. I used Break because it's a single target spell, so it hits a lot easier. You can actually use Bane as well. Bane is a multi-target spell because he... Tiamat is also weak to poison, but it hits, uh, it has a lot less accuracy than, than Break does, so I chose Break instead. Ooh, one fire goggles. Oh no. So difficult. Long hallway here. All this one room, which again, I still don't know if there's anything in it. Sasuke's Blade. Now, I think we already have a Sasuke's Blade. Yes, we do. It's a shame you can't dual wield. Later on in the Final Fantasy series, uh, that's something that ninjas can do is dual wield, which is really, really cool. We'll just head back to the main area where we came from. Oops, not here. Just up here. And we'll fight Merilith, and that'll be the end today. Wow! Again, really good strike dead. 245, that's amazing. Let's do a bunch of healing first. There we go. And... Yeah, save just in case. I just, I really worry that I'm gonna get screwed. Alright. 
Marilith, now we'll actually see her do something. And first up, John's Glove, Temper, no, no, not all frost, no, uh, fire? I don't even know if he uses, she uses fire. You know what, let's just do in zero instead. Actually, with that, we just use the white. White robe, and you will haste Solomon. She has a lot of attack power, I mean, she has six arms with six swords, so... Hundred sixteen. Like, that's nothing to sneeze at for a regular attack. Terra. There we go. Now Kira is tempered in haste as well. Still not going to be as powerful as Solomon. Solomon's going to be ridiculous. 1100. Our first over 1000 uh, attack. Very nice. And now we should be pretty much good to go. We'll just basically heal with both uh, Dev and Zera. One more round should do it if this round doesn't do it. I don't think Kira will kill in this, this round, but... 585 is still nothing to sneeze on. That's really good. And dead? Yeah, 1300. Fantastic. Told you, you can get some crazy, crazy attack power. And nothing good to get. With that, that'll be all today. We have uh, two floors. We have the water floor, which is this one, the wind floor, and then the final floor, and then the ending, of course. And that'll be it for the main base game of Final Fantasy. With that, I'm filling the blanks. See you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.